Motor Week is made possible by TireRack.com, Hum by Verizon, RockAuto.com, State Farm, AutoTempest.com, and WeatherTech. Cadillac is a familiar name in luxury car circles, but this car, the latest to wear the Seville badge, will probably throw a few people's conceptions of what a Cadillac is for a loop. After years of languishing in the shadows of so-called serious luxury cars from Europe and Japan, the new Seville is finally pushing to beat them at their own game. The Cadillac must also be careful not to alienate the Seville's conservative core buyers. It's quite a wide range of tastes to satisfy. Let's see how well they've succeeded. From a styling standpoint, the Seville's designers have succeeded quite nicely. The Seville is the most European-looking Cadillac ever, and the company's first modern design that can truly be called graceful. The slippery front end retains the traditional Cadillac look with its upright grille, but it is surrounded by refined curves and topped with a deep sloping hood. The Euro crowd will be pleased with the body color grille and bumpers of our STS test car, but even the regular Seville offers a classy low chrome look. If this Seville looks longer, it's because it is 13 inches longer than last year's car with three more inches of wheelbase. The Seville has a fast rear glass that blends smoothly into a raised tail. The deck lid carries a unique full width stop lamp design and one of the straightest lines on the whole body. Even the cast wheels are handsome. Aerodynamic 16-inch alloys wearing the STS's sticky Goodyear Eagle GAs. The Seville's front drive platform was originally scheduled to feature Cadillac's new overhead cam Northstar V8. The cautious development means that Northstar won't power the Seville until 93. Until then, the well-proven 4.9-liter pushrod V8 will handle the power chores. Not a problem with us, since we are fans of the latest version. It generates 200 horsepower and 275 pound-feet of torque, feeding the power to the wheels through an improved four-speed automatic transmission with a viscous converter clutch. This translates into real-world acceleration numbers of 8.6 seconds from 0 to 60, barely slower than the smaller car it replaces. A quarter mile takes 16.8 seconds at 84 miles per hour. The Cadillac V8 exhibits its usual flat, seamless power band, and the transmission shifts as smoothly as any automatic we've ever tested. Yes, it's as good as a Lexus. At 3,800 pounds, the STS is no lightweight on the handling course either. The driver is always aware of the car's mass and size. But the sticky Turing tires and the firm, well-calibrated suspension with its computer-controlled damping give the STS the cornering power of a much lighter vehicle. But a bit too much steering boost takes away road feel and fast corners. The STS's cornering abilities reflect on its ride. It's firm, but won't jar you like many German cars when the road gets bumpy. EPA mileage estimates are 16 city, 26 highway. Our testing returned a real-world average of 19 miles per gallon. The STS stops using front and rear disc mated to a Bosch anti-lock system. Our pre-production test car's brand new brake stopped it in a long average distance of 140 feet. More miles will seat the pads and shorten distances, but a pull to the right and heavy nosedive may not go away so easily. As expected, premature lockup and pedal fade were non-existent. The STS's exterior and performance are quite impressive, but what about the interior? Well, if you were expecting the traditional Cadillac look, you're in for a surprise. The Seville's smooth, flowing interior design reminds us of recent efforts by Audi or Infiniti. The dash is a concisely integrated shape, a complete departure from last year's jigsaw puzzle, and a healthy dose of Zebrano wood trim gives it all a classy imported look. Our car's leather-covered bucket seats, standard on the STS, were a revelation. They're well-padded and supportive and have real lateral supports so you can corner without sliding out the window. The seats also feature two-position seat heaters and a power lumbar support that adjusts vertically, supposedly for better fit. Oddly, most of our staff had trouble finding a truly comfortable setting. The large analog gauges, including a tachometer, are another welcome sight. 
However, Cadillac couldn't resist the use of a digital alphanumeric display for engine operating data. Flanking the gauges are well-marked switch clusters for the trip computer and automatic climate controls. Crisp, loud driving music is supplied by an optional Delco Bose Gold Series stereo. The controls are straightforward and logical. The integrated cassette and CD system is among the best available. Like the previous STS, the 92 version has its shifter on the center console in the European fashion. The standard Seville gets a traditional steering column shifter. The rear seat is set up for two passengers to be very comfortable. The sharply raked bucket style bench has excellent support. Adding three inches to the wheelbase has substantially increased legroom. And headroom is generous enough to even keep our six foot two inch coordinating producer happy. Trunk space is also increased by over two cubic feet. The trunk is flat and deep. Low liftover makes loading easy. Seville prices start at $34,975. The STS costs $37,975. A Lexus LS400 will cost slightly more, and we're happy to say that the Cadillac matches the Lexus in almost all areas. Both have responsive V8 engines, a controlled ride, fine handling, and roomy, efficient interiors. The more distinctive Cadillac edges ahead in styling and front drive traction. And yes, it feels very good to finally be able to make this comparison. And this admittedly long list of hits, starting with the distinctive styling that's modern without losing sight of Cadillac tradition. We're also delighted with the smooth, powerful drivetrain, efficient, comfortable interior, fine handling, and despite the huge advancements in all areas, the competitive price. Misses are few. We want more genuine gauges, a complaint we have about most luxury cars. Less power steering boosted speed would also please us and the power lumbar support does not fit our backs very well. Cadillac has surprised almost everyone. Its comeback has been rapid and strong, with huge leaps forward in every area of construction and design. While cars like the latest Elante and DeVille Touring Sedan have hinted at it, the 1992 Seville confirms it. A new day has dawned at Cadillac, one where Cadillac designers are able to reach into the future without losing track of their past.